Hey guys, welcome to my office in 50 frames per second. Uh, I thought I'd just try my little bendy arm, which I never really used before. And, um, and my lapel mic attached to my Zoom H1, which I hardly use either. So this is what my computing setup looks like. I've got my, my iPhone 6, I got currently booted into Windows for editing and um, X1C3, which has been unstable lately. Um, it's cr crashing all the time. <sighs> anyway, I wanted to quickly talk to you guys about uh, server operating systems since my Arch Linux and Debian thing seems to be really popular. So this is, uh, you're probably wondering what my opinion on uh, server operating systems is. Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> okay, well, um, so a server operating system. Well, without a doubt, Arch Linux is my favorite operating system, and I have run it on servers because I just like to have the latest uh, uh, packages. But that's the problem, right? You, on a production system, you can't have the latest um, packages because something might break, something might render your production service uh, broken, and uh, you'll lose money. So ideally, you want a system that has more stable packages. And uh, in my opinion, it should be the upstream developer or, you know, Apache for a web server. They should decide what their stable thing is. Um, but in practice, um, opera, um, distributions like Debian, they have this sort of like this, you know, if, if the package seems to be working, it then drops into testing. And if that seems to be working, then it drops into to stable. And then you get these horribly outdated packages, which is just, Kind of horrible. Um, Ubuntu kind of fixes this, but um, I think system um, Ubuntu has made a terrible job of system D, which I which I demand in 2016 because it makes like system administration much easier. So my glasses are oh no, my glasses are breaking right in front of me as I record this. My my son broke my my glasses by the way. He bullied me. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, Ubuntu is no good. Uh, one might say Fedora, but I think Fedora is too targeted to desktop. And, um, and then, again, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, I think, has, is a, sort of a later sort of fork of Fedora. But when I last looked at um, CentOS, which is a one-to-one -one sort of rebuild of Red Hat uh, Enterprise Linux, I thought it was too old, so I'm not using that. I'm not using CentOS, I'm not using Red Hat Enterprise Next, sorry. So I have been work, uh, looking for a nice server operating system. Um, and um, I looked at Amazon Linux and that was also not systemd friendly. Um, so so now I'm getting into Docker images and all that sort of stuff. I've been, I've been using CentOS. Sorry, CoreOS. A very similar one as Rancho OS. And uh, since I'm using the Amazon infrastructure, I've, I've, I've also discovered the ECS Optimize, uh, I think it stands for an Elastic Container System from Amazon. Um, so I'm using ECS Optimize images uh, now at work. And all CoreOS gives you is SystemD uh, and, and, and uh, Docker. And the rest of the thing you're supposed to like, all, all the services you're supposed to docker pull and all that sort of stuff. So, so yes, that's where the future, I think, of server operating systems going. Just bare bones Linux, docker to pull in the images. So, so you, so you, wanna, you need a web server, you say, I want Apache HTTPD, and then you, you download their, their image. It's totally encapsulated. All the dependencies are all in one sort of image. And that's how things are going to work, in my opinion. And if you disagree with me, um, let me know. <laughs> um, so I'm pretty much using CoreOS now for my services. And um, probably using ECS for the stuff that I deploy on Amazon. And, and in this container world, it is, there's lots of, I, I blog, I'll share a blog about it. I mean, it's, it is a bit weird on the Amazon infrastructure with containers, I must say, because, because, Amazon in, in itself has have their own sort of Docker image. They have the AMI, and um, running Docker images on EC2 instead of bare metal is a bit weird. And um, auto scaling when you're supposed to conceivably run several containers on one instance is a bit strange. So um, 
anyway, that's it. Server operating system, it's, it's basically Docker, guys. So if you disagree with me, uh, please let me know. Um, I'm also wondering where the FreeBSD guys are. I mean, where are you guys? Where are you living? I would like to hear from you guys too, because uh, I, um, I sometimes just get a little bit bored of the complexity of modern day operating systems, and I just, I'm just thinking of becoming, growing my beard and, and using BSD. <laughs> anyway, if you like the video, please give me a big thumbs up and please subscribe. Cheers, guys. Cheers.